Now, they are children with babies, teenage mothers they are referred to. In many cases, they are forced to drop out of school to embark on uncertain future, one with limited opportunities. Safin Aching Oma takes us into the world of teenage mothers struggling to juggle between raising their babies and picking up the pieces of what is left of their lives. This is the first of a four-part series, The Ban of Teen Pregnancy. I am in Bungoma County, a county that has been listed among the top counties leading in the cases of teenage pregnancy in the country. It escalated during the COVID season. That was the time we reached the peak and the height. We actually had about 6,000 cases plus. Those are the ones which we, we managed to capture. Even these teenage pregnancies that we already have in the facility, those are the ones that came. We are not sure how many more are in the villages. Meet 15-year-old Tessie, not her real name. Tessie was robbed of her childhood by a person a child would ideally look up to, her head teacher. A rape incident that left her pregnant and confused. Reluctantly, she coped. As if the pain of being defiled was not enough, Tessie lost her baby in unclear circumstances four days after birth. Tessie may not have a child to raise today, but she is nursing a wound that has refused to dry with her long traumatic journey that appears far from over, a journey to seek justice. Please let our policemen investigate correctly in any defilement cases that are taken. Because if they hide evidence, they record the wrong statements, we don't get up getting justice for these defiled children and defiled girls. Several kilometers away from Bungoma in Kisumu County, we visit another home in Seme Sub County. <laughs> we share a light moment with these playful twins. They are one month shy from marking their first birthday. The two are their mother's so so smile. <laughs> Fourteen-year-old Nora, not her real name, introduces us to her twins. She got pregnant after sitting for her KCPE examination two years ago, but had to shelve her ambitions to join Form 1 to fend for her bundles of joy after their father, a close relative, jilted her. She says it's a burden she wouldn't wish for any young girl. 
wangekuwa mimi sana sana wasichana bado wanasoma kwa fadhali waachane na mambo ya boyfriend boyfriend wanadanganya watu at a nearby homestead we meet Becky not her real name she has just put her son to sleep time now to embark on chores inabidi umeamka saa 11 hata saa 11 unakuja unajitayarisha alafu unakuja ndio unaanvisha tena saa zingine imeshafika time ya kwenda shuleni amekata yeye baada analia hata anataka maziwa alafu kwa masomo sasa uwezi soma usiku kama umekuja mimi ndio nimekuja napika mimi ndio pengine nikishapika yeye pia kwa hapo na mbadilisha usiku analialia Becky is among thousands of teenage girls who got pregnant during the long school break occasioned by the covid-19 pandemic mwezi wa 5 ndio nilikuwa nimegundua kwamba sizienda si nini sizi attend hasa venye niligundua nili hivyo nilienda nikanunua ile test kit nikapima nikapata niko na mimba in Kilifi County which ranked high in the cases of teenage pregnancies reported during the COVID-19 pandemic we sought to speak to young mothers about their experiences nilipopata mimba nyumbani ndari watu wako hawajui tuseme mpaka nilianza kuwa kubwa kubwa ndio watu wakaanza kujua walivyojua marafiki na waka yani marafiki yani hanichekeke kawaida kila mtu yani yani tenga tenga hivi nikipita nje ndio wananiangalia wananisema she was also jilted by her lover and regrets adding another burden on the shoulders of her grandmother who took her in when she lost her parents aligata asa yangu akaamua tare twachane naye sema atakana mtoto na mimi niweze kurudi shule her story resonates with that of this 19 year old girl whom we shall call Naomi with her baby tucked to her back and a jerry can of water literally depicting the challenge of balancing between being a child a mother and a student tulishikana na kijana mwaka wa 2018 na saba mfika mwaka wa 2018 kashika ujauzito for the last 3 years Naomi's efforts to get child support from her baby's father have been fruitless the tales of this teenage mothers exposes the vulnerabilities that girls from poverty stricken families often go through that often give sex predators an opportunity to win over them in their power plays reporting for channel 1 news from Nyamaroko village in semi constituency of Kisumu county i am safin aching oma